for our mini message tonight that we're going to be basing off the song by song by Ten Shackles shirt called Ocean. Uh, so in tonight's today's mini matches, we're going to explore the act of seeking God through His creation. And I don't know about you guys, but you know it's hard to 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 drive around and see whether you know if you ever driven down uh, 81 here. You know, if you're going towards Albany, you see the beautiful mountains and you see like the the creek and the river. How can you look at that stuff and not know that there's a Creator in in our Lord and in God? You know th- that that's behind the whole thing. Uh, God wants us to use the world around us to declare his glory, his goodness, and his love for us. May we take the time to open our eyes and hearts and see the goodness of God through his creation. To slow down for a minute and behold the beauty of our God and all that he has made uh, in our lifetime. It says in Nehemiah 9 verse 6, You are the Lord, you alone have made the heaven, the heavens of heavens, with all the hosts, the earth, and all that is in it the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them with the host of heaven worships you. Uh, so every part of creation from the smallest little insects, sometimes you can't see, that can be scary. You don't want to like, have that like, land on your food or something, or to the mountains and all, their, and the, and all their, their grandeur and how awesome they look, proclaims the unspoken glory of God. Every living creature, rock, green of sand, and mountain Stream was created for a specific purpose that God had in in plan. In the li- from the lilies of the field to the birds of the air, we discover God's faithfulness and provision. With every sunrise, we are reminded of Jesus' intimate return, and with every gust of wind, we are beckoned to the live their lives of people of the Spirit. Uh, Job twelve verse seven and through ten says, "But ask the beasts, and they will teach you." Ask the beasts, and they will teach you. The birds of the heavens, and they will tell you. Or the bushes of the earth, and they will teach you. And the fish in the sea, and they will declare you. With among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this. In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. You are allowing God to teach you through his creation. And you are taking this unspoken mystery and majesty found in the word, words of God's hands. Or are you merely passing by these beautiful intentional poems written on the pages of leaves, blades, and dirt by the hand of your heavenly Father. It says in Psalms 19, the, the heavens declare the glory of God and the sky proclaims his handiwork. Dry to today approaches our speed. The night to, to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, no words with voices not heard. The voices go out through all the earth and the world to the end of the world. God is always speaking to you. Every piece of creation declares your depth of God's power, faithfulness, and nearness. Will you afford yourself the opportunity to stop and look and listen? We all make space to open the eyes of our heart to receive the beauty, creativity, and love of our Heavenly Father. To seeking God without taking notice of creation is to miss out on one of the most tangible and beautiful ways He speaks to us. It isn't too mystical or out there to ask God to show you His intent behind His creation. It's holy Christian to spend time looking and reflecting on the work of God's hands. Children of God across thousands of years have been have created to learn from their creator. Scripture is filled with revelation about God speaking through his creation. He has made everything as he did perfect and for a reason. May we be children who seek God through every avenue available to us. May we be believers who have the faith and patience to learn from our Heavenly Father by the works of his hands. So, you know, as we pray, we can meditate on God's desire to speak through us through creation. And uh, I just want to read a little bit of of the words here in the song before we move on here. It says in the chorus of ocean that we're going to play here in a minute, there's something about the ocean that makes me rise up in praise. There's something about the heavens that makes me stand in awe again. There's something about the oceans and your presence. I'm lost in love again. Um, I don't know exactly what it is about the ocean, but we want to lose ourselves in it. You know, you you may or may not like to swim, but you you know, or or think about drowning. But when you see the ocean, you're drawn to it and want to go deeper and let it overcome you. I'm literally in awe of the ocean. I don't think I could study the ocean enough to really understand how big it is, how vast, how rich in life and wonder it is. It's a mystery, beautiful, wild, and unpredictable. 
yet always refreshing and calming is the ocean. You hear the ocean. You know, some people like to sleep to the sound of the ocean. You know, that, that thing. Or, you know, they hear. you ever listen to one of the seashells and you can, like, literally hear the ocean within the seashell? Like God, the more that we know him, the more there is to know. He calls us into a deeper relationship with him, yet we won't know all there is to know about him in a lifetime. We can, we can only just enjoy where we are now, enjoy his creation. He is wild and calm, beautiful and terrifying, unpredictable, yet unchanging. You know, it says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So when you think about creation, when you think about this song, Ocean, think about how awesome God's creation is. Think about how the, the awesome in these things that, that God has put within our life and things that he's done within our life. So without further ado, that is our mini message tonight on the, uh, based off the song Ocean by Ten Shackle Shirt. This is really like kind of a worshipy song, worship song with a little bit of a uh, soft rock feel to it tonight on retro rock and uh just encourage you to listen to the words and just spend some time just you know reaching out to god and thanking him for creation and he's what he's done for us so check this out here is 10 shackles shirt with ocean right here on retro rock live 